guys think I'm going to ask you a question about your legacy. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> okay, David, you get to answer this question first. And the question is, what makes you the best candidate for sheriff at Ohio County? And now you can look at my questions because I've already asked you all of them. <laughs> well, what I what I think I'm the best candidate is you can you can look at the best at the last uh, four years, and uh, and you can look at my record. Uh, I've had 27 years of experience in this uh, law enforcement. I've been involved in narcotics units. Uh, I've been involved in CID units. I've done juvenile uh, investigations. Uh, I am, I've also was the assistant chief of the third largest police department in Kentucky. Uh, and then my most uh, proud thing that I've done is being your sheriff for the last four years. And I think that we have turned this sheriff office around. We are now uh, uh, respected throughout the state of Kentucky uh, as a progressive law enforcement agency. Uh, we have put several, several bad people in jail that has had many years of doing whatever they wanted to here in our county. Uh, we can back all that up with documentation. Uh, I'm a family man. I have children. I have grandchildren. And anybody knows me knows that that is the most, other than my wife, the most important thing to me. And so your children and your young grandchildren are important to me too. So I have the experience. I've had the vision for what this sheriff office needs to be, and I think that I have proven, I have a proven record of the last four years of what we can do here. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done, uh, but we've got a great foundation, and uh, I think that's why I've been the sheriff. Thank you. I think I would make the best candidate for your sheriff. I, I was born and raised here in Ohio County. I've served 20 years here. 19 of those years I served as a deputy sheriff. I've, uh, I've had a proven record of honesty as a policeman here. I've worked 20 years. Uh, I think that I'm a very approachable person. I think you can come to my office. I'll be open-minded to anything that you have a problem with. I'll care about your problems, and I'll care that, that you need help. I have a proven record of compassion for that office. I think that anybody that you talk to that I went out on a complaint or I worked a wreck on them, I, I have done my best to, to have compassion for the job that I do for the, that person. Um, I've worked under two different administrations. I've seen the good and bad in both of those uh, administrations. I've developed my own idea on how the sheriff's office should be operated. Uh, those, those offices that I've worked for, I have seen that, that need to be a dependable and professional office that need to be created there. And I've listened to what you, the people of Ohio County want and that's what I'll put in place in my office. I have a great concern for the citizens here in Ohio County. Uh, one of those concerns I have is that you have a 24-hour patrol, and I'll make sure of that, uh, that, that I will cover that. Uh, and I will also hope that, that I can implement the best money that your tax money will pay for. And I can assure you I'll do you that job. Thank you. Over here again. Okay. Joe, you get this one first. What makes you the best candidate for magistrate in your district? I believe what makes me the best candidate for this position is my knowledge on roads. My career is in surveying engineering related field. 
surveying, as far as construction surveying, engineering layout, design. I'm, I'm the one that's in the field doing the design work, putting it on the ground, checking the grades. I'm, I'm used to looking at that. So I know a lot about roads as far as the drainage, what we need to do to, to make the roads better, what we need to do to maintenance wise, just it's not a it's not about spending a lot of money on the road, but it's about maintaining the road so it'll last longer. Where we we further our dollar as the county goes to upgrade our roads as a as a, all of our districts is what I'd like to you know, anything I can help any of the other districts do, I I'd be willing to. But by doing that we're going to save the county more money by looking at how we can maintain these roads better and keep our dollars in the county to use for other other issues. And you know that's that's the infrastructure that's bringing jobs to the county. The better roads we have in the county, the the more chances we'll have better jobs coming to the county. The other issues you know I'd like to look at is communication. I feel like that's the biggest thing as far as bringing industries in, into the area is communication, um, internet, cell signal, the ability for anybody to come here and set up a, an industry or even working out of their own home and having the ability to, to access good internet and, and, and have the services they need to, to provide for their businesses. There's a lot of businesses that way nowadays that you know, they, they want people to work out their own home, and I think that's uh, something we really need to look into. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. I got two things I guess I'm going to talk about on that, that aspect. One of them is accessibility. I think you need to be accessible and readily available. Um, you know, I've, I've been out on the campaign trail and I've talked to people and they say, well, you're the first magistrate I've seen. I don't even know what mine looks like. And I'm not discounting anybody that's in office. I'm just saying that's the way it is. Uh, someone say, well, you, you know, the, the other one hadn't come by and seen me. And I'm sure he's heard the same thing because I've not been to every house either. But you need to be accessible. You need to be available for those people because they want, when they call, they want something. And to them it's important. And you need to follow through with that, one way or the other. Uh, another thing, most of you may not know this, but about a month ago, uh, I started over here at the county road department. There's a couple employees that are here tonight, maybe more. Tomorrow will be my last day. Uh, took another job that I start on Monday here in the county. Uh, but that's opened my eyes up to a lot of things. We're talking about roads. The, these roads are in pretty bad shape. Uh, a month ago, I thought, we've got some pretty good roads. But once you get out on them and start running that roller, you realize these roads are in pretty bad shape. So that's opened my eyes, and, and I'm no expert on chip and seal or blacktop or running a mow trim as I was running today. But it gave me some, it opened my eyes uh, and realized how hard those guys work and what they have to work with and, and to improve you know, roads so we can get the, the trees cut back and, the, the potholes patched and, and you know, uh, does this road need to be blacktop maybe instead of chip and seal? Uh, there's a lot of opportunity there. So, uh, you know, I've only been there like a month, like I said, but I have gained some knowledgeable experience in that month that uh, I believe will benefit me. And like I said, just being available and listening and having an open mind. Thank you. This is the last question um, for the second district here. And Larry, I want to apologize. I should have let you go first last time. I got out of order, so you get to go first this time. All right. So <laughs> I got my Jasons mixed up over here and here. The last All right, one. Larry. Okay, Larry, so this is your, your question. What makes you the best candidate for magistrate in your district? Well, I'm not sure I am. <laughs> Jason has done a good job. I can't uh, complain about that. We share a lot of the same views. Um, we, uh, 
we share the activities for the youth, and we also uh, economic development. We want good paying jobs, not just uh, hourly uh, minimum uh, hourly jobs. What makes us different is the fact that I have been in business for 38 years of the 40 years that I've lived in Ohio County. Uh, working with manufacturers, getting the best price we can uh, to sell a product. So in turn, that means working with the people. Uh, I think I am a good uh, people person. I've been out in the county. Um, I get more response in the county than I do in the city. Uh, the city doesn't uh, see a lot of benefits from uh, our court, although Beaver Dam has fared well um, from the court. But I do have the time to devote to um, working as your magistrate. Being retired, I feel like I can do, be out daily, uh, driving the roads, talking to people. If they need some help in another district, I'd be willing to go and help them in that district. Uh, so, for that being said, uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Well, what would make me the best candidate? I, you know, you hate to sit up here and sit here and talk right on yourself or something like that. I, that, that kind of sounds that way, but since they asked the question, um, what would make me the best candidate? I guess experience. You know, I'll tell you guys, as a magistrate, when you first come in, you were going to conquer everything. And first of all, you didn't know what everything was. Okay? You get in and you realize you've got no roads. Which you, you anticipated that. You've got no roads. You didn't know you had to know something about the senior center, the, the animal shelter, the airport, the industrial fountain, all these things. Jerusalem Ridge, that county, you know, that, uh, just, there's so many things. I've had experience with it for eight years, okay? The good thing about, um, as far as communication and, and saying that, you know, I, I have the experience now, and I think I'm, I'm there for people, my phone number's in the book, and I think everybody that's called me realizes I'll call them back. I'll call them back, I'm taking my chewings. And then I always tell people, listen, if you can call me, and we can sit there and we can talk professional. I appreciate your call because I want to hear your ideals because that's who we're serving. And so it's a good listening ear. It's like campaigning. You know, you go listen. The campaign that doesn't start a year ago, your whole life is your campaign. So you look at the person, and I feel like, I hope that when people look at me, they realize that with my life, I'm listening to you guys, and I'm that type of person. I'm not trying to put on a front right now because it's election time. But guys, I'd say it's my experience. And I'd say it's my communication. Cell phones are a great thing. Ann can tell you, she knows where the money is. She's the treasurer of the county. She knows where everything's going on. I probably bother her because I call her every day. But I want to know what's going on. What's, but it's communication. You've got to be involved to know what's going on. But I go back to experience because you have so much to learn your first time. And I feel like I've got my feet wet now and I'm ready to go. Thank you.